documentary filmmaker, I'm always looking for ways how to make my shooting experience more effective, especially when shooting solo or in difficult environments. One such tool I've been testing for the past two months is the Casbah and left wheel system from the Bright Tangerine. And I can honestly say that it has become such a vital part of my kit that I can't imagine going into the field without it. The main reason why I decided to test this system was because of the Congo expedition that I went to about a month ago. I knew that I'll be doing a lot of run and gun shooting over long days and in difficult situations. And so I was looking for a system that is lightweight, modular, but also durable. I did some research and everything on the internet pointed me towards the Bright Tangerine Casbah system. So I've decided to reach out to the guys at Bright Tangerine and the team was so kind and sent me one unit of the Casbah system to test together with some Sony FX's accessories for the Congo expedition. Big shout out to Josh who made it happen. After using it in Congo and on a few other projects over the past two months, I can, as I said already, honestly say that this is the best shoulder system I ever used. And for that reason, I've decided to make a review of the product because as I myself was in a situation where I was looking for a good shoulder rig, maybe you're too. So in order to make the Casbah system work, you will need the left field base plate from Bright Tangerine. It's a universal base plate that you can attach to any camera and it's also very modular. It allows you to attach risers and it also allows you to attach different quick release plates such as Manfrotto plate, uh, RS3 plate, Ronin 2 plates and a few other. At the bottom of the plate there's also a standard Ari Dovetail rails so you can attach it to a Dovetail plate. As most of the base plates out there it also has two holes for 15mm rods and basically all the accessories or most of the accessories from the Casbah system attach to this base plate. So you definitely need that one to make the Casbah system work. Now the Casbah system itself consists of handles, of extension arms, of an attachment to the 15mm or 19mm rods, of course the shoulder pad and also a riser that you can put on the Ari Davetel plate, which basically allows you to put the left wheel base plate on a tripod together with the shoulder pad attached. What I really like about the system is the materials because they are very high quality, but at the same time, extremely lightweight. When I took the parts from the box, when I received it, I was literally surprised of how lightweight they are. The material of the handles and of the shoulder pad is this uh, strange rubber looking web. I don't really know how to describe it, but it's extremely comfortable to hold and it's also very sweatproof. So when I was in Congo in the middle of the jungle, shooting throughout long days and in extreme humidity, I didn't have a single scenario where the handles would slip. So the material is really, really good and, I, and it's very comfortable to hold compared to some other handles on the market. Same goes for the shoulder pad, super comfortable to have it on your shoulder even for long hours. The way you attach the handle is through traditional Ari Rosette mounts or screws. And in order to change the position of the handles, you just need to release these small wheels and then tighten them again. It's very easy and you can literally do it just with your thumbs. What I also like about the handles is that uh, the attachment that goes to the 15 mm rods has two joints on it and you can position these joints in different directions. So this really allows you to tune the grip uh, in the way that is most comfortable for you. Together with the handles you also get two extension arms. Uh, these are great but in my opinion they are for bigger setups than I was running and sometimes I felt like they're a little too big, especially when you have to move through small places or through bushes. So right now my setup is without those extension arms. But as I said, they're great because they also have a lot of attachment holes so you can attach magic arms or other accessories to them. Now the shoulder pad itself is extremely comfortable and there's actually two ways of how you can attach it to the base plate. Either you can attach it from the back of the base plate. There's a locking mechanism that works a little bit like a puzzle. So you have to put it in, slide it in, and then you have to uh, screw it towards the base plate. So it stays really tight. The second way of attaching the base plate is through the bottom of the left field system because it has two Ari Dovetails rails on top of it. So you can just snap it to the bottom of the system. This is also really nice and it basically allows you to distribute the weight of your camera in a different way. As I said before, apart from the Casbah system, Bright Tangerine also sent me accessories for FX6. This accessories was great. I only used it for the 20 days in Congo, but I really loved it. If you are an FX6 owner, 
then I would definitely recommend you checking that out. So this is a little overview of the system. Now I have a few different setups that I use. The first setup is with the shoulder pad attached in the back. This allows me to use the base plate and put the camera on a tripod quickly while always having the shoulder pad on. I like this setup, especially if I'm running around the whole day and I know that I will have to be switching between tripod and handheld. The setup is a little bigger because the shoulder pad goes behind the camera and the weight is not perfectly distributed, but it's still very comfortable to use. The second setup I like to use is with the shoulder pad at the bottom of the plate attached through the Ari Dovatel rails. And this setup is great because it's very small, very compact. And also because the camera is right above the shoulder pad, the weight distribution is very nice. And I can use it for handheld shooting. I can get some dynamic moves, but I can also just throw it on my shoulder. And because of the good weight distribution, I can have it for hours at end. This is probably my favorite setup. I still need to fine tune it a little bit, but once I add a viewfinder or I use a longer magic arm or the monitor, I think it's gonna be absolutely perfect. And the third way I like to use the setup is actually without the shoulder pad, and it's just by flipping the handles up and using them as camera handles. So I basically have two handles, one on each side of the camera, and this really allows me for, you know, dynamic movements when I'm shooting high frame rates, or if I wanna add a lot of dynamism into the shooting style. As I said, I love the system, but of course there are some things that can be improved. So one thing that I would like to improve or I would like to have different is the shoulder pad actually is made for your right shoulder. And I think it's great, but I think also sometimes when I put it too close to my head, it basically makes the camera a little off balance. So the horizon is not aligned. And I feel like if the shoulder pad would just be universal with a little, you know, curve for whatever shoulder you're using, then it would be a little easier to actually balance it on my shoulder. Second thing is that the handles are great, absolutely comfortable, but as I've been using my left hand to focus on the lens and using the camera with just right hand, somehow I put a lot of twist motion into the grip to balance the camera and the rubber on the handles is twisting a little bit. And so far it's been good and I can always put it back into position because of the nature of the rubber, because of the spider web design that it has. But I can imagine that after a year or two of using it this way, the rubber might eventually give up. I don't know if it will, but this could be my concern. And the third thing that I would like to see, and this is not really about the Casbah system, but it's about Bright Tangerine, would be support for Kinefinity cameras. Of course, Kinefinity is a small brand, but I believe that in the future there's a big market for the cameras and having some high quality accessories from a company such as Bright Tangerine would be absolutely incredible. So that's it for the review guys, let me know if you have any questions. I know that the Casbah system and the accessories from Bright Tangerine are not the cheapest on the market, but you're paying for quality and the quality is definitely there. That's it for today and I'll see you in the next video. Peace! I've waited to see where